Hi, I'm Lori, and I think I'm having an identity crisis. <laughs> a little bit about me. I guess the first two things I would tell people about myself are that I'm originally from New York and that I'm vegan. And I know, before you even make the joke, I'll make it for you. Vegans love to mention that they're vegan. It's been like five minutes, so I had to get it out there, right? <laughs> anyway, and New Yorkers love to mention that they're from New York. So for me, those are two things that are something I'm extremely proud of. Something I know deep in my heart that I truly believe about myself. Also, I'm Italian, and that's probably going to come up a lot too. A little bit more. I'm 38 years old, and I moved to Los Angeles 10 years ago which partially leads me to why I'm here today. I've had what feels like every job under the sun. I started working in the music industry out of college, had a quick stint in ad sales. I toured with ska bands, sold merch for ska bands. I was in a ska band. You see where this is going, just go with it. I worked in the service industry for a major film studio and then found the software as a service tech industry. I left the trenches of the tech world, the eight to five, AKA eight to whenever your brain fries out world, to pursue this dream of mine of being a voice actor. I was mentally and physically tapped out. My brain literally felt like it was on the fritz and misfiring on all ends. I would have episodes of what my therapist described as flooding, like extreme moments of panic and distress over these jobs I was working in which were client-facing and helping people understand technologies that I had a hard time grasping myself. Basically, I was standing on the edge of a nervous breakdown. Myself and my husband couldn't take it anymore. So I took the leap and left the typical grind during the great resignation. And before I go on, I know I can say that doing so came with a lot of privilege. Not everyone can be afforded the option to just leave working a full-time job. So I want to get ahead of it and acknowledge it and express my gratitude of the position that allowed me to move forward. So fast forward a year and a half later to now, and I'm lost, completely lost and unsure of what to do next. And honestly, I feel like as an elder millennial, I've always been lost in my identity. But that's part of what I do like about myself is that I'm willing to try new things, see what works and what doesn't work, wear many hats, as they so hauntingly say on so many job applications. And not saying that your career has to be your identity, but you, you get it, you know where I'm going with this. So when it comes to voiceover work, I'm doing everything in the book they tell you to do. I'm taking the classes. I'm meeting with casting directors and agents networking on forums and social media, cheering on my peers when they post they got a gig. I'm auditioning on pay-to-play websites where I'm up against hundreds of other applicants and that these jobs honestly don't pay that much or anything at all. I've invested thousands of dollars into this and honestly, I feel like I'm going nowhere. I know it's a marathon, not a sprint, but I'm also struggling to figure out what sets me apart. What makes my voice different, special, wanted? And also struggling with the idea of monetizing a passion. That part sucks the most because it's taking all the fun out of it. But I didn't want to make this podcast or have these conversations about my struggles making my dream come true. I want to present this as an act of solidarity for anyone else that feels like, what do I do next? What else does the universe have to show me? How many rock bottoms do we hit before we finally make it? And listen, we're all humans. Well, most of us. And that's a whole other conversation that you don't want to get me started on. What I'm trying to say is, I'm not above learning. I'm here to explore. I'm here for the journey. <laughs> I even have that tattooed on me. The journey's the thing, which was the title of my grandfather's eulogy. And I love to have deep conversations, which is something that probably annoys my friends the most. I love to go deep and ponder the big questions in life at any given moment. I'm not afraid to go there with people. And part of this was inspired by a segment on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, where he has his Colbert questionnaire, which is where he asks a series of 13 questions so that his guest can ultimately be fully known. So this is where you come in. How would you describe yourself? What do you identify as? 
What is something you're proud to tell people when you give your introduction? These are the conversations I want to have with people from all walks of life. This is lighting a spark in me when I thought the pilot light was burnt out. I'm so excited to dig deep, to learn about everyday people at their core, to find out how do you truly identify yourself? What resonates truly and deeply in your heart? And you may be surprised what comes out. And I hope you come along with me for this ride. Coming soon, the Identity Shockwave podcast. And I'll be your host, Lori Vaitzig. Four questions, real people, endless exploration. Special thanks to Let Me Crazy for the intro music. I'll catch you later. <laughs>